I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day today and is enjoying the weather and just life. So, guys, I am back with my little boy, Court. This is Court Cameron Taylor. Um, and he is a full body silicone baby doll, anatomically correct. He has armatures, a drink and wet. He has gums, a uvula. He has a skull. He has a soft spot. He has a spine. He has a squishy tummy. He is, the only thing he doesn't do is breathe, guys. Poop, breathe, you know, the things that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those are the things he doesn't do, but he is so realistic um he is um just an incredible baby um a lot of yous that um always watch my channel um already know about him he is my um he is my latest um uh, my newest actually my newest um silicone baby um and i'm still like head over heels with him i'm still madly in love and just i want to hold him and cuddle with him all the time i mean i'm trying to divide my time with you know with all my babies and um i love all my dolls but it's just like um for some reason i'm just so like still want to play with him and i still want to carry him and hold him and love on him but you know it's not fair because i have a whole bunch of dolls that you know are just as beautiful well, i mean he's amazing but i have other dolls that are just as beautiful, just as amazing. Um, but, you know, he's the newer guy. You know, it's just like having a real new baby. Like, you can be a parent of, you know, three kids or four kids, you know. And, um, you know, when you have that that last baby, it's like, or it's not that you love the other ones any less or that you don't um, appreciate the other kids any any less. It's just that that is the one that's, like really gravitating to you know because it's a new baby and you want to just learn the baby and you just want to you know um just experience you know the time with that baby so that's i think he's not a real baby of course i know that but that's just like that's what i would kind of um you know like compare it to i would compare it to that you know it's just that um, but anyways, guys, for those that are new, thank you for joining me and my channel. I am Marisol and, um, um, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for, um, spend, for, you know, stopping by. Um, uh, please hit the notification button. Um, please, um, subscribe, hit the notification button. Please share your videos with your dolly friends. Um, I would love to, uh, have my channel grow to a thousand, um, um, subscribers so that I can make lives with you guys and you guys could give me some opinions on you know what to put on the babies or what to do and stuff like that for that loud noise that is Rocco my cockatoo my umbrella cockatoo bird that is very much punished because he bit the crap out of my finger and he is punished so he's very um, upset that he's in the cage he's usually um, like 95 percent of the time outside the cage so the only time he's in the cage is at bedtime and when he's been a, na a naughty boy um and usually only for four hours he's been in there today is his third day yes guys i said it today is his third day he will not get out the cage until my finger heals my finger is still um very sore very swollen it really hurts um, and that's my rules. Um, he's been biting lately, so that's the rules. If he bites one of us, he's in the cage until our um, injury heals. And maybe he doesn't understand that, but I mean, he understands biting, so he has to understand the consequences, whether he likes it or not. That's the deal. But anyways, guys, I am back with this guy, and um, I, he's in a little um, Halloween outfit that's black and it's just catching like all the fuzz on it ever like i i like fix i kind of like clean them up with the lint brush that i just had right here but i mean it doesn't here it goes but it doesn't make a difference like he catches fuzzies from everything where black is like crazy and i'm like a crazy woman when it comes to black i love black but even me when i um 
when i wear black i usually carry this little lint um thing because it's kind of like small and convenient um i had a smaller one but i gave it to my to my son because he has a shedding dog <laughs> that sheds all over the place so i want to change him and i want to take him out of this little halloween costume well it's not a costume it's a little halloween outfit um, I want to take him out of this and put him, and I'm going to put him in another one, um, but I'm not going to put him today in another one. Today I'm going to put him in this little, I'm going to put him in this little onesie thingy. I'm going to put him in this little outfit. It has little bikes on it and it has like a little hat. And I got it at Marshall's for, boom, $4.50. <laughs> yeah guys you know that's just me um i'm going to put him in this today because i um i've been home for a couple of days now just been chilling at home just i'm a homebody guys i can be home all day long forever i'm retired and i mean i really you know it's so funny that i can even say that <laughs> it's kind of like strange because if i tell you when i was younger i stood running the street like not in a bad way but i i would love like just to go out and be out i loved it you know i love being out and now i just don't want to go out i don't even want to look out the window i just want to be home especially now with covid and everything i just don't want to really be um around too many people you know because i mean i just want to stay healthy you know i just want to try to avoid anything and um yeah so you know i mean and even before that like when we went on lockdown i was home already a whole week so i had a week extra on lockdown um before everybody went on lockdown last year the year before but anyways i am eventually going to put him in this little outfit look at how cute this little outfit is it's black and white stripes with um orange little um monster fringes on the back on the sides of it and it has like these little pockets you see this little pocket in the middle of it this is such a cute um outfit it says milk monster which i love the, the shirt the top is black and it says milk monster and white i love this little outfit and i'm i'm looking forward to putting him into it but i'm not gonna do it today because i want to take him out of this and i want to put him in that little um that little outfit and um you know what i love about him he has like he has like creases on his like you know like fat creases and it's like creases creases like you like pull his leg like you move his leg and you can see like in between the crease like you know like the real babies i love that about him so i'm gonna take i'm this first hood just snags everything so I'm going to take him out of this outfit and I am going to give him a drink and wet because I've been wanting to do a drink and wet. I did one the other day, but I didn't do it long enough. I um, I want to kind of, oh, wait a minute. He got fuzzies and stuff all over him. One second. Oh, oh, let me pop on. Let's Gonna take this off like that. Yeah, Poppy. Alrighty. My TV in the living room is that's in the living room. <laughs> it's so loud. He yeah, is so cute, guys. Can you guys see him? Okay, let me let me try to move the tripod up a little bit more. You guys can see all my other babies. In the back as well yeah guys so yeah guys so that's that i'm gonna do a little drinking one with him i'm gonna see how that goes today and i just really been wanting to like do another drinking one with him i love him so much i mean i love all my babies like i said but oh my gosh i'm so like still you know bugging out with him like he's so sweet he's so sweet guys so all right so we're going to grab this big boy and give him a little bit of a baba all righty I look 
adjusted. I am so comfortable though, I gotta tell you. I'm super comfortable and I took a shower and I've been home for just about three days. I'm gonna give him this bottle. What is that? Oh, that's from this. This is what I put on his nipples and his um, pacifiers, his personal lubricant. It's the uh, water-based one, guys. It's very liquidy. Um, I suggest that you buy that one and not the the gel one because the gel one, um, it kicks up in their mouth. And you don't want them to... You don't want their um, thing to get clogged up. Like if they have drinking one, you don't want their... Um, you don't want it to build up, you know, in their mouth. Okay, let's see if we could do this because sometimes you just be wanting to give everybody a hard time with your big old gums. Okay. Come on. Hold on, let me see. That ain't a nice spot. Ah, we want it all the way in. Okay. I think this is a kind of a big nipple, so I'm messing with these guys to really. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see how you drink today. You hungry, Papa? You thirsty? I feel like it's on the side of his mouth. <laughs> Like, it's in his mouth, but it's, like, on the side. Let me see. Let's see, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Made a water mess. Oh. Let's try it again. Okay. Yeah. So my daughter's supposed to be coming over today. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. I think the hole is too big. I kind of made a big hole. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. My TV is kind of loud and stuff in the in the living room. So I don't know if you can hear it. I'll see the bubbles but um yeah my daughter's coming over today i have to oops this has a big hole guys um i'm going to wash her hair she has dreads she's uh we've been growing her hair for um, just about 12 years now, I was saying. Let me see. She was 12 and 12 is 24. She's 23, so 11 years. We've been growing her, her, her hair. And it is super, super long. And I'm the only one that um, that's ever touched her hair washed it and messed with it and when she needs to um oh my goodness this is like the hole is way too big in this bottle and I, I, it looked kind of small and i, I kind of just made it big before bigger before i came into the room but um yeah i'm the only one that's ever like really like messed with her hair and stuff so nobody's ever touched her hair and I'm trying to see in the camera, see if these guys can see the little bubbles. I think you can see it. You can definitely hear it. I mean, I can hear it. I don't know. Maybe these guys can't. But the TV is kind of loud. And my door is open, so the TV is way loud. Yeah, so she's going to come today so I can do her hair. And most likely she'll stay over. She's going to make a Rasta pasta for me. Mm, she makes that so good. Shrimp Rasta pasta. 
That's what we have in today. I'm so excited just for the Ross. I mean, I'm excited when she comes all the time. I love that she comes over and she loves to spend time with me. <laughs> She's always like, I have three kids. I have two sons and um, my daughter is the youngest. She is truly a mama's girl. She does. She just doesn't want to do anything by herself. She doesn't want to clothes shop by herself. She doesn't want to do it with her friends. She has good friends. She doesn't want to go clothes shopping with her friends. She doesn't want to go food shopping by herself. She doesn't want to do anything without her mama. So, you know, it's nice because, um, you know, I, I I love her so much. And um, she, um, that's just how, that's, that's how she's rolling. And that's how I, I mean, but it was different because I was like, biologically, I'm an, I'm an only child. So like. You know, but I guess it's not. I mean, she just loves me. I mean, my boys love me too, but they're just very super independent and they um they they do things on their own. Although um they um have me very involved in their lives. Like anything that my um son does or anything that happens, they call me all the time, whether it's good news or the worst news ever. Trust me, they tell me. They tell me everything. My 32-year-old son, like, tells me his sex life, guys. It's so uncomfortable. But I never, I've never, I've been telling you guys that it's uncomfortable, like, listening to it and stuff like that. But, like, you know, as an adult, you wouldn't discuss your sex, you know, how how you perform or what you do or things that you guys do. You know that you do with with your children right but my son he i mean i don't i don't discuss my sexual stuff with him but he tells me like everything and it's just like i'll be on the other side of the phone like oh my god like beat red like i'd be like so embarrassed like oh my god i can't believe he's telling me this stuff right <laughs> but i don't tell him that i'm embarrassed because you know, I mean, if you can't tell your mom or your parents, like, you know what I'm saying? That's special. It's embarrassing and very uncomfortable, but it's it's special to me that, that he does that because, you know, he trusts, he trusts in me. Like, you know, he looks for my opinion. He looks for my approvals. Not, not, not in sex. He doesn't need my approval. He's doing quite well, I must tell you. <laughs> He's kind of a freak like his mom, but we're not gonna, we, you know, we're gonna leave that alone. But, um, you know, he, he's, he's, he, and and every, in every aspect in life, he looks for, he looks for my approval. He looks for, you know, my opinion, you know, um, and you know, and I, you know, I appreciate that, you know, that that tells a lot, but um. My second son, my middle child, he's 29. And he uh, he's the one that I would say is my firecracker son. He is a rebel. My cousin tells me, Marisol, he's you on steroids. And I'm like, wow. He really, I mean, he's a rebel. He's a new and improved virgin of, like, I guess me. He has no fear in his heart. I mean, now, of course, I do, but, I mean, he is, he's my gangster crazy son, and he's a mean guy. He's not only, um, he's not a bad person. He's very, um, very thoughtful, very giving, um, very, very, very caring, um, but he is a Taurus as well, and he is just a big, mean guy. He came out of my uterus and looked at me dirty, so you could only imagine. This guy's drinking this bottle. You see, um, it's not, it's not um, dripping now. Now it's going down really, really good. You guys can see the bubbles. Like, look, look, he's almost done with his whole bottle, which I think is pretty good. I think he's gonna fill his pamper a little bit too much. So this bottle is it leaks at first, but you just gotta like kind of like lay him flat. And look, mommy, Bob, mommy, look, I drank all my baba. Yeah, you did, baby boy. That's, I think that's good. OMG, guys, this was a whole eight ounce bottle. And he only has three ounces left. He did, I love this bottle. 
There's a fly in here since last night. If I tell you guys, last night that fly had me going nuts. It kept, why do flies want to buzz around your ear? Like, what the heck is up with that? I was bugging out. Like, I was like half asleep and it kept like buzzing around my ear. And then I got up and I like turned down the light and it um just wasn't around anywhere. I was just like, what the heck is up with this? And guys, I got to give him a t-shirt. So I'm going to have to stop this video and get a t-shirt because this t-shirt got wet and I don't want to leave nothing wet on him. So I am going to, oh my God, why I got the cutest boy? Why I got the cutest baby in the world for, huh? How are you so handsome? Oh my God, his pamper, oh my baby. His diaper is about to explode. You would see a lot of pee pee? Hmm? You got a lot of pee pee in your diaper? Yeah? You got a lot of pee pee in your diaper? The pee pee? Go, Papa? Hmm? So sweet. Just want to make sure that it all goes down. Hmm? This is the. This baby is. He's the most realism doll ever like everything the way he feels the way he not only the way he looks but he feels incredible guys i mean ugh, he feels so great he's he's so he is the epitome of art like bam this guy just he, see guys, now this guy right here, he was like, so, he's so well worth the money. Wow. How did I snag that like that? That's crazy. This is brand new. I just took it out the pack yesterday. It is super snagged. It is. Crazy. That's my bracelet. I'm going to knot it because I'm not going to cut that because it'll make a hole if I cut it. I'm going to put him. Oh, puppy. Don't fall on me like that. I'm going to put him down, guys, and I am going to um, stop the video for two seconds because I have to get him a t-shirt. Oh, and get all this stuff. I brought his diaper cover so I could put it on. And I got him a little Halloween um, diaper. Okay, guys, just give me a second. I just have to um, okay, guys, get him a t-shirt. I am back. <laughs> I got him another t-shirt. Same thing, a onesie. So we got to take him out of this wet one. And the last time I put it on him, I like put it on him. I spilled my coffee on him. So he has like a coffee stain. So we're going to wash this t-shirt also. And oh, I'm edgy, guys. His diaper is like a big balloon. You see this? <laughs> That's how much he drank. He drank so much. Oh my God, and he was so wet. Because, you know, he had like a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning. But then we got it. I mean, the hole is big on that bottle, but it's, it, it, I mean... Maybe I could have made it a little bit smaller because this way he won't drink so fast. His drinking wet system is really good. It's really, really fast. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, guys, I do believe that I shared with you guys the last time that my daughter lost her job they uh forced her to leave her job because um we are not doing the vaccine oh my god guys this diaper all the way in the back is it feels like a big old jelly like <laughs> it's so full guys it's so super full and uh maybe i should have gave him a different one right because hmm 
I had already this one, but I guess now I'm gonna do the same one because diapers are right there. I don't want to be corny with it and give them the same diaper just because it's Halloween. And he's gonna wind up having. Oh, I think I got. Oh yeah, yay. Oh yeah, yay. Let's see this one. This one's big. I have. I'll give me this one. Alrighty. Alrighty. So yeah, I should have closed the door and I came back in. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna give him this diaper. I hope you guys can see because the tripod light is on, but it's kind of like. I don't know if that helped. I got the sunlight coming in and I have the light on and the tripod light, I think. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Let me see. Maybe that'll help so you guys just could get that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, let's get him out of this diaper. And like I was saying, guys, uh, just chatting with you guys, right? So, my daughter worked with um, the Board of Education. With, um, you know, she was like a paraprofessional. That's where you help um, the teacher with the kiddies, you know? With, um, you know, these teachers have like 30 kids in their classroom. So, oh my gosh, my everything is just snagging this blanket. So, she was helping you know she was she she works in the classroom with um with the teachers right and she's had that job for for a hot minute guys omg this is like a, the most i've ever fed a baby where it looks like you know the parents just don't change the baby's diaper and it just be like a big old balloon hanging this is crazy it's a lot a whole lot to the next floor so she, that's she had that job for um quite a while and they told her that she needed to get vaccinated or she could not work mind you she was um getting covid covid tests every single sunday in order to be able to go in on monday to work she had to go get tested and she was on vacation which made no sense guys she was on vacation for two weeks and still had to get tested no she was on vacation for three weeks and still had to get tested those three weeks that she was not going into work because she was on vacation and she didn't have she was nowhere near the kids and she still had to, was mandated to go get tested, COVID test, those three weeks in order to keep her job. Isn't that crazy? Oh my goodness. This little private part got water. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. You got pee pee. You got pee pee and the little bebos. Oh my goodness. It's mama's bebos. You can't show the bebos to people. So yeah guys she still had to get tested and then she was still doing it she was getting tested she was following all the rules and regulations that she had to for her job and then she started working she went back to work after the vacation and work a week before they told her that she had to leave the job isn't that crazy she had to leave her job although she was um all for getting tested on a weekly basis you know and um they they made her leave her job guys because she refused to um get tested i mean not tested take the vaccine um we're not doing that vaccine guys um i mean to each his own i just feel that People are just like, oh, it's life changing and, um, you know, you can save your life. And, and, you know, people are getting COVID with that vaccine. 
with the vaccine people are still getting COVID. okay so and then also how i feel about it is that just the same way they tell you you know things about <clears throat> about the the vaccine people are just totally ignoring the ingredients <clears throat> that's um you know they're not doing their research like people are just like oh no yeah the government it's you know the government approved it so it's good the government will kill you without a second thought okay i mean everybody's just a guinea pig you know this is hasn't been out they just they, they were trying to make this vaccine for 10 years guys because hundreds of thousands of people die yearly of the flu so i mean before they came up with um the flu shot that people are like also getting i don't get that either right people were dying hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people you guys you know you got google on your phone you got google on your computer and people don't they don't they don't pay attention to like they refuse to like they like their eyes are closed their minds are closed to all the ingredients that's inside this COVID shot, okay, that causes cancer, that causes Alzheimer's, that causes um, long-term effects, because this is not a shot that you're just gonna get once. They want it. They want you to get two of them, and then they want you to go six months for a booster, and then next year you have to go again, and then it's just gonna build up in your body, guys. Like people are getting in there, like, oh, I'm fine. I did it. I was fine. All my family got me. We're great. Check me out in five, six years. I want to see five, six years of you getting all these shots inside your, your, your body, what it's going to do to your DNA. You know, like people don't, they, they're not doing their homework on what's on it. Yes, COVID was devastating. It's still going on. People, you know, so many thousands and thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people died all over the world. Yes, I get it. I get it. I so get it where people are afraid. And they're going to listen to whatever the government says. Because, you know, the government, they got the power. And then people think, like, because these are people with power, that they know what's best. They sit on a toilet. They drink bread. They, they drink water to survive. They drink, they eat bread to, to survive. They are human beings. Just because they have, like, a high position job doesn't mean that they are right. Or that they want the best for you or that you know that that or that they're not sneaky and conniving like people are wicked money money is the, the the root of all evil and people that are in high positions a lot of times they don't really you guys gotta do your homework you know like i respect you guys for whatever reason you know i just feel like you know, I understand nobody wants to die. I, you know, a lot of people are afraid of death. You know, they want to, they think that our bodies are designed to live forever. You're not, you're going to die. You're going to die. If you don't die of COVID, you're going to die of something else. You're going to die. You're, we all going to die. We, we're not, we're not, we're not born to live forever, guys. We're not. And all you have to do, guys, is to protect yourself. I said this a lot of times, is drink vitamin three, uh, D3. And you have to um you have to you have to um drink zinc. You could take zinc zinc and vitamin D3. If you don't like taking a lot of vitamins, you can just take those two vitamins and it'll boost your immune system so that you don't get sick. Or if you do wind up getting COVID, you know, you're, you won't be, um, you know, deadly sick, you know. It's like, to me, it's like people that have, like, let's say di diabetes. Something as, as, like, as common as diabetes, right? Let's say that. I'm not even going to say something crazy i'm just gonna say diabetes because a lot of people have diabetes and high blood pressure high blood pressure and diabetes are like uh cousins hand in hands they're like buzzing buddies you don't get one without getting the other if you get diabetes if you get um high blood pressure if you get diabetes you're gonna get high blood pressure with it right so okay um he had two socks because these are like little shoe socks or whatever and i just Put these left these on top and i actually forgot i had another pair for him i had these for him 
which I'm going to leave these because he looks so stinking cute just in his little t-shirt. All right, so let's say something as diabetes, okay? Let's say you go to the doctor and they diagnose you of having diabetes, you know, like you have sugar problems. You can't, and everything is, uh, sugar is just about in everything we eat. Like uh, our body recognizes bread as sugar. Our body recognizes anything that's starch, your body recognizes it as sugar. So it's a little bit hard, you know, you can't eat rice, you can't eat, um, you know, potatoes, you can't eat bananas, you can't eat no types of yams. I'm Puerto Rican, we're big on yams, right? My mother used to, my mother was brought up on, on, on yams. She lived on the side of a, my mother was a hillbilly and she lived on the side of a mountain. So they grew, they grew their own foods and stuff. It's kind of like, like a little string that I have to cut. I'm going to have to do it. Let me see. Okay. So let's say, and I'm going to use my mom, may she rest in peace as an example, because I don't want people to feel no kind of way. So I'm going to use my own mother that I still cry over. She's been gone nine years and I, I cry like a two year old over my mom. Like I miss that woman. Like I was an only child um born on my mom's birthday my mom had me when she was 33 so you could only imagine she couldn't have kids she had me i was like spoiled rotten not for say that i used to get ass whippings okay oh yeah you know puerto ricans we don't play that time out go sit in a corner no we'll beat your ass and i'm gonna say we because I, that's how i raised my kids too my kids this did something wrong and they they did something they got their ass whipped they know I, my kids are grown, grown, grown adults, and if they disrespect me, I'll still slap them. I'll still beat their asses. Okay, that's just that's just the Spanish Spanish way. That's just how we are. All right. So, but let's use my mom again, like um, for example, right? So my mom had diabetes, right? She she was diagnosed with diabetes. And she knew she couldn't eat the, the stuff. Like, we went to classes. I always went to every appointment with her. Um, you know, she was she seen a nutritionist, like, so many, many, so many hundreds of times. Because, you know, she had diabetes. And, like, every time she would go to the doctor, they'll tell her, don't, they'll give her certain things that she couldn't eat. She'll see the nutritionist. The nutritionist will tell her things that she couldn't eat. Things that she could eat to help bring the sugar down, right, in her body. And do you know that so many times I would go to my mom's, um, to my mom's house, and I would just like pop up, like, cause you know, like I, I, I didn't have to. I, I would be. I could be the unannounced child because I was the only child. We did everything together. She's my mom. So my mom never had to be announced ever, you know, when she was coming to me, like to my house or like when I would have to go to hers. That's how we wrote, right? We were like one, right? Do you know how many times, sorry, Bobby. You know how many times I went into her house and she was like dead boiling like, a big pot of yams and you know yuca and 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 stuff that she wasn't supposed to like she did not stop eating the stuff that she wasn't supposed to and my mother was crazy over white rice guys my mom will cook a full lasagna right and a, a pot of white rice next to it like we ate lasagna with, with white rice next to it she used to be like oh no you have to have White rice with lasagna, which, by the way, it tastes really good. But anyways, the starch, the pork, okay? She she did not want to change her, ha her eating habit. So what do you think is going to happen? You're going to create high blood pressure. You're going to create, you know, all this, all this stuff. You know, because you're not, you're not, you're not doing the right things. You're not doing the right things. So... If you guys know vitamin D and zinc will help, um, um, you know, your immune system and it will help you, 
I don't understand why people are just running to go get this shot um, that, you know, that you so trust the government when the government doesn't even know themselves. They know what they're putting inside that shot. They know what's in there. They know it's not good for your body, but they stirred up this thing and, oh, you know, you get this shot and it's going to, you know, save your life. Like you're supposed to live forever. Guys, I'm, I haven't had a simple cold in 22 years. Okay, my daughter was a year old. My daughter's going to be 23 in December. And I got that cold in um, January because I went to watch the ball drop in, in the midst of the cold. Okay, so you have to, life is what you make it in all sense with your health, with, um, with your friends, with your family, you know, like you, you can't okay something because... I don't know because somebody's telling you that it's right you have to do your own research you have to you know life is what you make it you have to you have to do your homework you have to do your research and a lot of people are like um oh you know um they've always done shots and stuff like that you know the measles the this the that like it's just just crazy guys um you know you have to do your homework oh gosh my daughter was just calling me always when i'm doing a video right yeah so i mean i'm not i'm i'm gonna wait on that i'm not trying to get that shot in my body i don't do those i don't do those shots i don't i don't i just don't trust the government and i want i want validation that what you're trying to force on me you know, it's going to be good for my body. Like, they're literally forcing it on me. Like, you know, in Jamaica, the Jamaican um, government over there was like, let them be guinea pigs. We'll see what happens. And then I'll, I'll, I'll think about letting my people take it. In England, you don't have to do that. You know, why are you just forcing that on us? Um, menu. Okay, it's menu what? Oh my gosh. Sorry, my daughter's trying to get in contact with me. But I, um, yeah, you know, like to each his own. I just feel like everybody needs to do their homework and they need to like really like see what, what's in the ingredients inside that vaccine. People are just like, oh, I had no choice. I lose my job. So then lose your job. Get another job. Go on unemployment. Take a vacation. Look, look beyond the negativity of it like my daughter my daughter was a little bit sad because she you know she she loved working with the kids and she had the job for a bit and she was just like you know ma i can't go and i was like ma go on unemployment you know get unemployment for a little bit and you could when one door closes three open i told her you know and let me tell you she's doing really really good she's she's fine so today her boss um send her an email saying that if she could please write a letter of of um resignation i was like no i'm so glad that my kids share all the information with me and they come across they they ask me what they should do before doing just about anything i'm glad that my kids do that because i told my daughter absolutely no do not write no letter of resignation because you didn't resign you didn't resign they made you leave they made you leave so no no i told you you're not gonna write nothing take a take a take a screenshot of that um of her requesting for you to do that and um i told her and um and you write her a letter saying no that you was forced oh my daughter's here she sure is Mommy? Roz? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, guys. So that's that. And this is my little man looking so... I was dying to put this little um jump... Uh, this little PJ on him. Doesn't he look like a snugger bug? He looks so stinking cute in this. I love him. And it looks cuddly. And he's nice and fed. He had a nice baba. I just want to pick him up if I could stop snagging on the damn blanket. Say hi to everybody, baby boy. Say hi. Why is that surprise like that? Hmm? 
Say hi. Say, I need a bubble. I need a pacifier, but your tummy's nice and full right now. I'm going to give him a little passing, maybe a red one. Mm, I love him. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Stay strong. Um, be kind to one another. You guys know, know how I um, end my videos. Keep God first. Say a prayer. Be kind to one another. And um, stay positive. And don't let people make big decisions for you because they threaten to take something away. Okay? Because we don't need some, some things. Okay? Alright, guys. God bless you, guys. Have a blessed, blessed day.